Y'all don't remember last year? Won some money. Yeah, it was like 12, 1300 bucks or 11, 1200 bucks, somewhere around there. Either way, I kind of sort of used some of it and then put the money back, like when I needed cash, but then put the cash back. So over the last year, I've accumulated 20s and there's 150 in there, but mostly 20s. So I'm gonna stop by the bank, exchange these for hundreds, and then I'm gonna see if I can double up my money at the casino. I don't know if I will or not, but uh, if I do, I may or may not rent a Lamborghini. I mean, because you can do that in Vegas. One last look for a week. It's about 8.40ish in the morning, plane leaves at 10.30. I'm gonna stop by the bank, stop by McDonald's possibly. Let's get this CES party started. I usually don't like McDonald's. It's just not my thing. But right now, it's early. And I do like the McDonald's breakfast. Thank you. Yeah, can I get a uh, two breakfast burritos, four packets of pecani sauce, and a hash brown with a uh, one packet Did of ketchup? Hotter mouth sauce? Uh, mild, please. All right. And that should do me. So, like I was saying, I'm not a biggest fan of McDonald's generally, but breakfast burritos are on point. I like them. I mean, they're, they're just cheap enough and just good enough. It's a good mixture, you know, a little bit of hot sauce, mild sauce, and uh, you got yourself a winner. Nice little breakfast snack, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Gotta get the sauce though. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. So for this trip, I'm trying out something different. That is a selfie stick. Look at that. Oh yeah. I'm at the Dwight D. Eisenhower Airport in Wichita, waiting for my little park and ride shuttle to show up. So it is 9.30. Plane leaves in like an hour. Here she comes. You gotta love TSA, but uh, that's a good thing, I guess. In the end, when you have like laptops and batteries and all kinds of things, it just takes forever to get through it because it'll well, set off all the alarms. But this one was actually a lot smoother than normal. my baggage now. I'm on my way to get my baggage now. And denied.
Got my badge. Look at that. <laughs> Social media influencer. You know, now that they lowered that down a little bit. Got a nice little suite that I can't wait to get to. I'll tell you a little secret because I really got to go to the bathroom. I ain't taking number one. No, this is number two. But they said I'm on the 12th floor, so I'm excited about that. I asked for a little bit higher up. Uh, I did call in after my Expedia reservation and did a little upgrade. So looks like I got my upgrade. the customary room tour I did upgrade a little bit so it's not just the basic room but it, it's a little bit better but obviously that's the entrance and it looks like I get a bar a little web bar coffee maker basic stuff right got a nice little entertainment area for a TV not too shabby not too shabby the world's ugliest couch combined with some random chair does not match whatsoever but you know whatever and then in here i got a one bedroom suite check that out little work desk king besides bed i guess it's not a, is that a nightstand or work desk it's totally a work desk and a little nightstand and i don't know how to turn on the light how do you turn on the light where's the light switch i have no light switch you Oh wow, that is like deep into that. Look at that. God, this is a massive bathroom. Wow. So check that out. Okay. Look, you come in, right? You just keep going. Just keep going until you get to the pooper, right? And there's like, there's three separate light switches for that. And it gets more, look at this. Four separate, look at this. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. Got a bathtub. And of course, a shower. So that's kind of interesting. This is this is a pretty uh, pretty legit little bathroom. It's got a bunch of rooms, a bunch of light switches. I like this little bedroom. You know, I like the decor. The whole gray, I don't know, executive, you know, whatever. I don't really know. But I really, I don't know if I'm digging this couch. This couch is uh, <sighs> hideous. But let's check out the view. What do we have? What do we have? Oh yeah, we got my reflection. Might have to turn off the lights. Basically of the last place I stayed here, which was the Excalibur. So that's where I was somewhere. Actually, let me see. It was like right there, right somewhere in the castle. I'm just kidding, I didn't stay there. But that's my view, got the Excalibur. There we go. There is a better view. Look at that. Over there is the rest of the other part of the tower. And then there's the Excalibur. So I like the way the Excalibur looks, you know? So I'm glad. I think that actually last time, based off the view I had, I feel like I was somewhere around there, but I was kind of sort of facing in. I don't know, it's been a while, but I had a view of these from one of these little side towers here. So. But I'm pretty sure it was on this side. Now for the camera rig this year, same story, except it's gotten even heavier because I added a light, which is cool. I love this light. It's huge. It's big. It's bright. It's heavy. I'm going to hate that. But I really technically only have one day that I need this setup, technically. But I'm probably going to carry it for two days. And I'm probably only going to go to like three days of CES. For the other stuff, I'm gonna use a DJI little thing here, or just handheld, I don't know. But uh, that's heavy, this is not. Now basically this has a battery here that's used to charge the wireless receiver here because this only has like a two and a half, three hour battery life. Uh, I also have a boom mic or a shotgun microphone um, that I usually keep unplugged unless I need to get, you know, like broad audio. But for the most part, I'm gonna be running a little uh, lavalier setup. Basically just gonna be this, 
it's gonna have attached to me that way i can commentary on stuff and then in the bedroom got shirts but in the bedroom this is the setup basically got the laptop that i used last year got the little extra add-on monitor this year so that's cool i uh, got this nice little nifty usb uh charger thing this thing's like super powerful plugs in it's going to plug and charge all the things including batteries and things like that also have a usb uh, type c but it's actually just using 3.0 ssd uh, from samsung that's kind of my primary editing drive right there i have another samsung it's actually just an internal ssd that i repurposed using an adapter because i have some other stuff stored on that uh, non-crucial but still i kind of want to be able to like put things in two places just in case one of them fell because I'm paranoid. Uh, USB little thingy there that plugs into some other USB things like the microphone that I brought with me that I'm going to be needing for, you know, a couple videos that you'll, you'll know more on that later. Uh, this is just the USB type C, which I actually found out this cannot pass through data. So I end up having to use an adapter. Uh, this is basically my card reader that I'm going to use on the side here. So that's how I'm going to be pulling the uh, media off of my camera stuff. I also have a backup one, but that's primarily what I use. Unfortunately, this thing has no like option for uh, ethernet connectivity. So that was also the reason why I brought that too, because, because it has an ethernet port on the back. So the, in the off chance that was a possibility, then that's what I would have used. But that battery thing is actually, I'm actually going to take that with me because this this is very important to have and carry in your bag and CES. So got to make sure I don't forget that. But overall, that is the setup that I'm going to be using for CES. Oh, one thing I forgot was a mouse pad, which I forgot it last year. I always forget a mouse pad, but I'm using the, a tablet because it's way better than the glass because yeah, yeah, I forgot a mouse pad, but that's it so far. That's all I forgot. I think that's, that's pretty good. And since I left a little bit later, I even grabbed like a random mouse that I have and a random little selfie stick thing for your phone. Just like this, you know, like me in my white t-shirt. You know, I'm in, I'm in full relax mode, okay? But I brought this uh, for Adam. He said he forgot some stuff like that. So I, I just threw it in the bag. I don't know, you know, when or if I'm going to give that to him or meet up with him or whatever. You know, at least in any kind of, uh, at least in any kind of like usable time frame, because I don't know what his schedule looks like, but I figured why not just throw it in the bag. And then if he needs it, wants it, there it is. Now that I have everything hooked up, kind of, sort of like unpacked a little bit, uh, it is 6.30. I'm thinking I'm going to go over and probably, possibly, potentially hit the Pepcom, which is a thing I did not know existed until this year. So, uh... I don't know. I'm not really going to cover anything specific, but I'm just kind of maybe measle around, mosey around a little bit and see what that's all about. Just to say I did. Um, I think it starts at seven. It's like between seven and 10. So I might go check that out, but I am also hungry and thirsty for, for just a couple beers. So, you know, there's that might find a place. I don't really know. So far I'm digging the, uh, the little miniature apartment here. I mean, this ain't bad, you know? It's got a room. It's got a very extravagant, like, bathroom thing going on, multi-room thing. So it's definitely not as fancy as uh, Adam's from Epos, but uh, way better than what mine was last year. So no complaints. There's something seriously disgusting in the sink in the bar. Oh, that is gross. Look at that. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's so nasty. Ooh, okay, so I just showed up to uh, Evil Baker Brewery Company. I'm going to meet up with uh, Jeff, probably have a couple beers and then hopefully go home, or go back to the hotel anyway, and start editing this whole day one travel adventure of mine. So, Pepcom was interesting. I gotta say, Pepcom was a little miniature CS thing going on that I explained earlier, but it was definitely, I mean, just not as like robust as CS. Obviously, it's just a little convention center type of deal, but like CS, they have these extravagant displays and huge setups and you know, it's meant to last literally four days, whereas this, Pepcom is literally just a three-hour deal. 
Uh, I can say though, the free food and the free booze, that was kind of cool. I had a couple beers, a couple different, uh, you know, like IPAs and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know anything about beers, but had a couple beers, had some chicken and waffle things. I don't know. There's a bunch of different food sampler things to try. So I was able to eat uh, some random food like that. So that was cool. The food was a lot better. The drinks were obviously a lot better just because CS doesn't have anything like that. So uh, yeah, it's been kind of interesting. One thing that I can say is that I'm really happy that I just went to that little event with my phone because it wasn't anything super exciting that I'd want to whip out the big camera for. So this is kind of a it's kind of a dead road. Really. I mean for Vegas. This is kinda of dead. Oh, Jeff with Crafty Beauty. Notice the beer is rather dark. Yeah, he has a dark beer. Right. I got the light beer. This is actually Bud Light Orange. They serve Bud Light Orange as their prime choice. They do not. They do too. They do not. Hey, is this Bud? Yeah, he, he just nodded yes. No. Take my word for no. it. There's absolutely no way I would lie to There you. is no way in the world a brewery in Las Vegas <laughs> is serving Bud Light Orange. So I'm with Jeff from Craft Computing and Steve. What's up, Steve? Hey, oh, look, going, look at this. He's got a full on sampler. Look at all this. He's like, he's like going around the world and I'm sticking with Bud Light Orange. Because Let, let's go by ABV. What's your ABV, buddy? Well, that's a mix. Uh, it's a mix. So that's it's like 8% and 5.2. So yeah. it's, we'll meet in the middle this is and at, say it's 30. At 14.4 <laughs> is what we'll meet in the middle at? Okay. Okay. Meet in the middle. Cheers. I, I think that's uh, proper math. Go with that. Yeah, math. 